everybody, and welcome back to my channel. Today, we are going to look at uh, formatting text in your Google Slides. So let's get started. On the screen, I have a sample Google Slide with some text on it that we're going to practice formatting. So you'll notice, first of all, that there's a difference between the top text box, which is more of a title box, and then the bottom text box, which is more of a paragraph with information. So um, let's start out with the title. Um, you can highlight just part of it, or you can select the entire text box, and then you can increase and decrease the font with the plus and minus buttons right up here. And that will increase everything within the text box. Now, if you want to, you notice that the bottom line is a little bit smaller than the top two lines. And that leaves you to notice that the font size field is blank. That's because there's two different sizes. Now, if you want them to match, you can click in here and either select a pre-made one or you can type it in yourself. 32. And I'm going to hit enter. And then it resizes all of it to be 32. And then again, you can go plus and minus. You can also bold or unbold that box, italics, underline, and here is the letter color tool. So you can change the color of the letters and you can use this highlighter tool. Let's undo all of that. You can use this highlighter tool to highlight certain things and you can choose whatever color you like for highlighting. And when you do that and click off of it, you notice it's like it's been highlighted. Um, so that's kind of fun. You can choose your font right here. So there are tons of fonts. Uh, most people don't know this, but there are only about 20, 25 that are pre built into your Google Slides, but there are hundreds under the more fonts. So if you click on that, you can search and you can search by uh, script type. I like my handwriting fonts. Everybody knows that. So I switch this to handwriting and then I leave it for popularity because I want to see which ones are the favorites of everybody. And I can come down here and find one that I like. And you know, when I click on it, it adds it to over on the right bar. Oh, I like cookie too. There's, there's a couple. Now, when you're done, when you're done, you'll have to hit the OK button. I made this mistake one time, and um, I just closed it. And it doesn't add it until you hit OK. Once you hit OK, then you'll notice that those have been added. Where's my cookie? There's my cookie. So you can have tons of fonts in with your font in your text boxes. Now, if you want to give your text boxes a little pizzazz, you can give them a background color here. Oops, background color. Whoops. Jeez, click off of it and you're suddenly on the background color of the slide. Um, so you can change the background color here with the paint can. And then to match the paint, the background color, you can change the font color and make it pop with the background color. You can also give this text box a border right here with the border color. So I click on that and I can select whatever color I like. And now you see that little tiny purple outline of my text box. If I want it a little thicker, I'd come up here to border weight and give it a little thickness. And now you can really see the text box border. You can also do dashed and dotted lines. There's just a few choices in here but gives it some fun. Another formatting trick for text boxes is you can put them on angles. So sometimes I like to do several text boxes on one slide just to highlight things and make them different colors and give them a different border. You can also angle them using that little circle button up top. And you can place them on your slide. The trick with this is, is you can put the corner over top of the edge of the slide. And when you present, it'll just cut this text box off right there. And it'll cut the top off right there. Everything else will be on the visible on the slide. You just have to make sure the end of your word is technically on that slide. So watch when I present. It's just cut off at the top and on the side. But it's still visible. And now it's at a fun angle.
and you can put that wherever you want. Now, the other thing to use is the um, tool, the ruler tools. You'll notice that red line when I move my box around. Watch that red line pop up. You'll see it twice. You see it where it's aligning to the left of the bottom text box and where it's aligning to the center of the slide. So you can use those red lines to help line things up better. You'll notice another one as I get closer that it's absolutely in the center. Now it's right in the center of both. You see both red lines pop up. So I'm going to put it back up at the top. And then my bottom text box, I'm going to center that as well. So it just helps you line those things up a lot better, a lot easier. You don't necessarily need to use that ruler, but you can. You can see that I'm almost right at the nine and I'm almost right at the one. So I have about an inch margin on both sides of this text box. Um, you can use the ruler on this side as well. All right, next I wanted to show you the format options. When I click on my text box, I can come up here to format and go to format options. And this is going to open my um, menu on the right for all of the options that I can do for formatting this text box. So the first option is size and rotation. Now, um, this is more of a manual style. You can put these wherever you want, drag and drop, but you can also type in exact inches that you need or percentage scales. All right, the position right here, you can change from top left to center. You can also go into the text fitting. This will uh, give you some indentation options. So you can indent your paragraph and you'll see the entire paragraph indented. So that's kind of fun. You can do some special first line or hanging. And so the first line indents. And then you can do, you can select some auto fit options. Do not auto fit, shrink text on overflow. I like that one because as you resize the text box, it will resize your text to fit. And then it locks your text box, so you can't shrink it too small. So that, um, you're going to also do some padding at the top, bottom, left, and right. That gives you little margins there. Drop shadows are fun. Let me close this. Drop shadows are fun. You can play with the color so you can give it some real style. The distance and the blur radiance are all right there. So now you can really see that shadow. So it gives it a three-dimensional um, kind of look. And then blurring makes it spread out, the shadow spread out. So this really is a nice feature, the drop shadow. Remember that one because it does give your slide the feel of three dimensions, it, it, even though it's only two. Um, and then the reflections are fun. You can make them more and more transparent. So you can get just a bare reflection. You can also increase the distance and the size. So the reflections are a lot of fun too. The last thing I want to show you is if you'd like to, you can use these lines to connect your two text boxes. So you can just throw in a line to lead the eye of your audience to the next box. Now, I don't have another, I'm going to throw this over to the side and you see my line travels with it. Now, if I want rid of it, I just hit that delete button. There are other text boxes under shapes too. These shapes work just like a text box. And all you'd have to do is double click them and you can type in them. Or you can right click and edit. Edit text right here. Right click and edit text. And then uh, that'll let you add text. Now we can go back to our line. And I can draw a line between that box and that box. And just kind of give my text boxes some pizzazz and some life. These shapes you can also fill. They come out with a they come with a default gray, but you can change the color and you can change the border just like the other text boxes. And there are a bunch to pick from. So there's all kinds of text boxes here. There's all kinds of arrows. There's call outs that work just like a text box. Throw text boxes in there. And then there's equations which do work like a text box, but they're a little weird. 
So um, that's about it. One last thing I want to show you. I promise. One last thing. Um, you can give text boxes an animation. So you can insert animation, insert animation, and it'll open up the motion panel on the right. And for each slide, you can click on it and give it an animation. Fade in on click. On click means when you click the mouse wheel or push the space bar as you're working your presentation. So you can always change it to after previous or with previous to make them automatic, but you'll have to play around with that and get the timing just right on items, especially if you have a lot of items with animations on one slide, you'll really have to play with those settings and practice over and over and change them. So they're a lot of fun. You can also do by paragraph and you can slow down or speed up your animation. So I can play, I can hit play and get a preview of that animation. I push the space bar. So again, I'm going to hit play. This gives you a preview. The text box is gone. I'm going to hit that space bar or click and my text box appears. So you can give all your text boxes animations. All right. So the by paragraph works a little bit differently. If I select that text box, I'm going to get rid of this get rid of a couple of these so you can see. If I select by paragraph, it's going to do some little bit of magic. Watch what happens. I'm going to click on my text box and I'm going to add animation and I'm going to give it a fly in from the right. And I'm going to select by paragraph right here by paragraph. I'm going to leave it on click, but I'm also going to slow it down so I get a little bit of of fun uh, movement on my slides. So I'm going to hit that play button and give myself a preview again. So no text box. I'm going to click play. Here comes my first fade in. Now I'm going to get my spin by paragraph. That means one line at a time. It's going to do the animation. And now I'm on my third animation, fly in from the right. And it's really slow, so you got to give it a minute. And you'll see it flying in from the right. So by paragraph is um, pretty a lot of fun if you want to do one line at a time. All right, that's about it for formatting text boxes. I hope you enjoyed this, and we'll see you next time. Thanks. Bye-bye.